Okay, parents, let's talk about how to get ready for the 2020 2021 school year. And I'm going to be really uh, specifically focusing on learning math at home. So I'm going to talk about three main uh, ideas that will is definitely going to help you out for this next coming up school year. So a little bit about myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm a middle and high school math teacher, but I've uh, been developing Tablet Class Math over the last 15 years. I have thousands and thousands, tens of thousands of, of members uh, all over the world, but my focus has been on trying to create the ultimate independent math learning system. And uh, really, my main focus there is creating like super clear and understandable instructions so anyone can learn math. So really have a great uh, program and this is through many, many years of development and learning best practices through experience, etc. So if you want to check out my courses, again, I focus on middle and high school mathematics and uh, other test prep type of um, uh, products. But I'm going to go ahead and leave the link uh, in the description of this video if you want to check that out. So I just want to give you a little frame of reference on who you are listening to with this particular video. So I want to talk about three main things that can help you um, as a parent to really, you know, handle this uh, upcoming school year. So we all know that the pandemic, uh, the lockdown, the social distancing, et cetera, is just com completely disruptive for um, all of us. But right now, I'm making this video in August of 2020. There is several school districts and states, complete states that are not going back to the traditional classroom, i.e. Uh, there's not going to be any physical uh, learning. It's all going to be done online. So uh, this is going to create, you know, a lot of new changes. Already 2020 has been highly disruptive, but now parents have had a chance to kind of reflect on this and think, okay, what's what's going to happen in my school district and how can I, you know, get ready on whatever is decided, okay? So let's talk about the first uh, idea here. And that is you need to change your mindset, okay? So things are different and they're going to probably stay this way. So uh, unfortunately, you know, um, we can't control uh, what happens to us per se. All we can do is kind of like choose how we're going to re you know, react to it. So, um, you know, if your school district you know, or your state saying, hey, that's it, you know, your, your child's going to be learning from home, that's that's what you have to work with. So effectively, you know, you need to kind of embrace the, the, this change, right? You're like, okay, here's what's going on. Let me not, not be in denial. There's a major change going on in my child's life and our life. And it's going to require a new mindset because, listen, I'm a parent myself. When you send your child to school, so here is your child. They go to school, okay? You're, you know, trusting and rightly so, hey, that the school is going to do everything that's required of your child. Okay, there's professionals there, they're going to be monitored, they're going to be taught, etc. And your child's going to come back home, they're going to do their homework, and you're going to check, you know, kind of monitor the results. Well, this system is kind of gone. And if you think that, that your child going to an online school, okay, is going to have the same dynamic, you know the interaction, the the checking, the the whole this whole chemistry is the same online. It could be there's nothing that's you know further from that. Okay, um, that being true, right? This is it's different. This is going to be completely different. All right, it's this interaction, monitoring every child, mentoring. You know the list goes on and on. This is what teachers do. Okay, teachers work with children all day long assisting them they can see what's going on they can spot trouble they can etc uh, etc et there's all that stuff is happening this dynamic is kind of gone all right so this gap you're going to have to fill this gap right so you your, your child online is not going to have this support okay not at like how they had there, there'll be some support but it's a completely new system now the schools are going to do everything they can the teachers to um you know help you know, mitigate this and make it as, you know, not as painful, but it's, um, you got to realize that just because your child is a part of the same school district, it may even have the same teacher, that the dynamics are different. Okay. Because the dynamics are so radically different, that means you have to be different. Your mindset has to be different and you have to kind of think of yourself. Uh, I think a good way to kind of help you is think of yourself as a homeschooler a little bit. All right. So your child is going to, uh, here I spelled schooler. Let's me get this right. Home schooler. Okay, so your child is going to be going uh, 
to school from home. So by definition, you are kind of homeschooling, okay? So although you might not think of yourself as a traditional homeschooler, it's not a bad idea to, to kind of think of yourself as a homeschooler, okay? Because homeschooling, those of you that traditionally homeschool, you know, take on the responsibility of being the principal, the curriculum uh, director, the teacher, the etc. You, you as a parent, you're choosing to take all that responsibility on. Well, now uh, that you're, you know, kind of forced into the situation, right? you have to be like, wow, I don't want this extra responsibility, you know, to do all these different things to monitor. You, well, you don't have a choice. And if you just kind of like, keep your mindset the way things were well like hey i used to work and then come home and check and make sure my child did their homework now of course i i know that all of you out there have busy lives and there's realities hey you do have to work there's other things going on that then i get that so i'm definitely not trying to take away from how stressed or busy you may be but this is going to be difficult all right it's going to be more difficult than say traditional schooling probably for most of you out there however you can also help shape and impact your child's education by being more involved so homeschoolers you know again they take on the role of selecting the curriculum you know kind of monitoring the results you know developing the grades etc you're gonna it's not a bad idea for you to kind of change your mindset to be to be thinking in those terms and some of you might actually kind of like say you know what I want to kind of go off in my own way and work outside of what the school is kind of offering and become actual you know say a, a follow kind of a traditional homeschooling path but for all of you out there that are kind of put into a scenario um, where you have to do online education it's not a bad idea to be thinking of yourself as a homeschooler but you gotta have a fundamental change in your mindset you're gonna have to be much more involved okay so there's a lot we can talk about uh, in here but just you know as a main idea changing your mindset okay things are going to be dramatically different alright so the second thing is this um, you can learn on your own now what do I mean by this alright so you got this school you're coming up you're you're you, you probably have a lot of anxiety in your child like how how is this going to work is this going to be is the school going to you know provide a good system is my child actually going to be able to learn online you know a lot of people have a lot of anxiety about this and i totally get that okay but i want to kind of like uh, tell you that you can learn on your own and you should be thinking in terms of this and this kind of goes back to our mindset what do i mean by that well it, Let's take it for example, uh, Algebra One, right? Let's say your child is going to be doing Algebra One, okay, and they're learning Algebra One uh, through. Uh, they're obviously doing it online, and they're going through whatever the school is providing, okay. But they're struggling with that particular, you know, it's not working, okay, for whatever reason. You need to kind of already have the mindset that you know we can learn on our own, learn. Uh, on your own okay so what do, what do I mean by that it's not like hey go order a textbook and go read the textbook no you can use other learning programs out there okay you're gonna to have to research and, and and you should be like thinking have the mindset that listen if whatever per is provided to us online is not sufficient we're gonna to have to go figure out a way to learn this on our own okay uh, and there, if, fortunately for most subjects and definitely for math there's great programs that you can use not to supersede or to overtake what the school is providing you because you're going to have to work in the context of, of whatever a school is providing okay you can't just be like ignore the teacher and be like hey I don't like the way you're what you're what the school is doing the teacher is doing if you're a you know part of the school district you're going to have to follow you know the the protocols and and the program however if it's not completely effective you can couple whatever the district is doing okay or the teacher is doing with your own learning program all right and it kind of bolster it or supplement this model has worked really really well I've done for thousands of thousands of people with tab of class math so whether it's tablet class or another program, you can find something that where your child can learn on their own outside of the school that can bolster them and, and kind of keep things going. So again, it goes back to your mindset. You just can't be like, wow, um, they're struggling. You know, my child is failing for what, and, uh, for what the district has given them. 
and now you're stuck you're like well i you know there's no options you know i'm just you, you don't think in those terms be like just because it's not working for whatever the district has given them or your child's struggling whatever the, whatever the teachers you know the, that particular program have the mindset be flexible you kind of expand your mindset to be like okay we we're going to have to figure this out right so you know the one advantage of um you know distance learning or learning online is that you have more options so you should kind of have that freedom i would encourage that freedom again it goes back to you thinking more like a homeschooler kind of freedom of thought freedom of education all right so kind of get used to that now i wouldn't get too um aggressive this aggressive with this right away give your teacher give the school kind of a chance to kind of see where things are going work the system being good communication with the teacher etc because you don't want to have too many things going on at once for your child but you know after a sufficient period of time if your, your child's still struggling okay start looking for the things that, that you can kind of do you know, independently so they can learn on their own all right so let's talk about our last thing here and uh, this is really focus on routines and habits now remember when we were when your child went to an actual physical classroom what did the teacher do well the teacher told your child hey sit down you know be quiet give me your homework you know uh write neater do this there's so many things that teachers emphasize that you as a parent may not realize this is what teaching's about teaching is not just being a subject matter expert it's about how to um you know, develop good academic habits. This is crucial, okay? Note-taking, neatness, um, showing their work. All this stuff is com super important, okay? Now, your te the teacher, okay, was there to check on a daily basis. Hey, was your child, you know, maintaining good habits? Were they following good habits? And if they're not, what's the teacher there? The teacher's going to guide them. You know, hey, Billy, let's here, why don't you rewrite this? That's not, you know, neat enough. Or, you know, being on time. All this kind of stuff right here is extremely important. Uh, the maturity, disciplines, all whatnot. That's not like a side thing. This is, this is probably just as critical as the the curriculum or, or the teacher. Okay, those routines and habits. So you now, again, you are the person. You know that's going to be controlling the structure of the learning environment yeah just because your your, your child has to log in between 10 and 11 a.m uh, to do their math if their environment isn't structured if you're not checking their habits if you're not checking their routines if you're not seeing are they taking notes are they doing their work etc you know you're going to have you know uh, problems even with the best of curriculum that could work with them so before you know you really you know start looking elsewhere for for things to change and modify you got to make sure okay that this is happening now again you as the parent you know in the traditional model where your child went to school that was the teacher's uh, job right the teachers in the classroom controlling the classroom classroom management and if they you know if your child was struggling with any of those issues you're going to hear from it from the teacher right hey you know your your child's being disrupted or they got a you know detention or you know uh they're not doing their homework or you know the parent teacher conferences you know and by the way too if your child also another thing too is showing some sort of trends of i'm gonna say like a learning disorder but like dyslexia or some something that's struggling the teacher was there to kind of monitor that and be like hey this isn't quite we should kind of maybe check into this a little bit more looks like your child might have some uh, you know additional challenges so again you're going to have to change your mindset you now are that person that are going to have to take on that role okay and by the way too uh, and you probably already know this especially if we have multiple children uh, your children at, uh, from sixth grade to seventh grade to eighth grade are completely different people. <laughs> sixth graders are completely different than seventh graders that are completely different from eighth graders. I found this out, uh, you know, in a more like discreet way or more obvious way when I was actually teaching middle school. I was like, wow, there's big differences. You may not see those changes as much with your own child. It's not, kind of a little bit more subtle, I think. So what am I saying? Well, depending on if your your child the way they were in sixth grade now they're going into seventh grade there's big changes that are going on okay so you can't just be like oh yeah they did fine last year 
you know, uh, th that means that they're going to carry through this year. No, remember, your child is growing rapidly, sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade, ninth, as, you know, middle school and high school. Every year, your child is a, is a new kind of growing person. So you're going to have to stay engaged and involved. But anyways, these are some three kind of big main ideas that I think if you kind of embrace these, you know, start thinking about them, it's definitely going to really help you out for this coming up school year. Um, again, I want to leave you on a positive note here, okay, is that uh, online, distance learning, remote learning, whatever, you know, they all mean the same thing. You're learning from home, you know, on the internet. It could be extremely effective, okay? So you, you don't, you know, I know a lot of you out there have a lot of anxiety and are you know, fearful, like, hey, your child's not going to get the same quality of education um, as them being in a classroom. No, that's not that's not true. Okay, a matter of fact, in a lot of cases, your child can get a better quality education learning online. Okay, and it kind of goes back to focus. There's going to be less classroom disruptions, etc. So there are some pros and cons on this. And so I think with the, with the, your mindset, always think in terms of the positive. Highlight the positive and try to like mitigate the negative. Okay, because you're going to have to embrace this change no matter what. But you can have a great outcome here for sure, right? But you're going to have to educate yourself. You're going to have to get smarter and better as a parent. And, um, you know, I do videos like this to try to help you along. So hopefully uh, you like this video. Let me go ahead and wrap it up. So, um, again, if you like this video, uh, hopefully you'll consider subscribing. I, I'm going to continue to do uh, videos on, you know, things that I think can help uh, parents out. But I also have hundreds and hundreds of videos on various level m math topics that can uh, help your child. So, anyways, hopefully you consider subscribing. I'm going to go ahead and leave a link in the description of this video to uh, my Tablet Class Math Academy. I have many, many courses, so you can check out those uh, for your child if you want. that's something you want to consider. And if you like the video, definitely appreciate a thumbs up and leave me some feedback. You know, um, you know, I try to read uh, all the comments I get on my videos, uh, but it gives me kind of ideas on future videos. So if you have questions or you know what works for you or you know you, what your experience has been, and there's going to be so many um, variations of of this throughout the country and throughout the world. You know, even within the school district or even, you know, within, you know, let's say you have a particular school district, we have five different teachers, you're going to have different results. Each teacher might do things a little bit differently. OK, so everyone's experience is going to be not the same. OK, There's, you're going to have a whole variety of things. The main idea is not to get discouraged, but just to stay really alert and, you know, um, you know, I think you'll 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 do fine, but again, it really kind of goes back to the first thing I was talking about. You know, you're gonna have to uh, make that uh, that change, you know, in your mindset um, to really kind of get going here. Oh, so with that being said, I definitely uh, appreciate your time and have a great day.